Although John Jones still has a fight with Stipe Miocic that could happen at some point, the UFC heavyweight champion is also targeting Alex Pereira. Jones said the potential fight with Pereira, the current UFC light heavyweight champion and former middleweight champion, would be the biggest fight in MMA history because of the marketing potential to fight the supposed fighter, is the greatest of all time against title-seeking challengers. In his third different weight class, the biggest fight in UFC history in terms of pay-per-view buys was UFC 229 between Conor McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov. The show attracted two, four million buys, tied with the 2007 fight between Oscar De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather for third largest combat sports event. Pereira moved up to light heavyweight last year after losing the middleweight title to Israel Adesanya at UFC 287. After a win over John Bokowicz in his 205 pound debut, he defeated Gigi Prochaska in the UFC 295 to win the vacant championship. UFC 300 saw Pereira make his first title defense with a first round knockout of Jamahal Hill. After the victory, Poitain discussed the possibility of a heavyweight fight in his native Brazil, where UFC 301 is taking place. While it is not uncommon for a fighter to have two fights three weeks apart, scheduling both the fighter and the promotion is extremely irresponsible. Pereira was not included in Saturday's show at the Farmazi Arena in Rio de Janeiro. It could be a one-time deal, given the unique circumstances of Pereira, who said in December that the move up to heavyweight is something that has to be programmed. It takes a little bit of effort for his body to, he achieved that move and carry extra mass during combat. Jones was supposed to defend the heavyweight title against Myosik at UFC 295 in Madison Square Garden. The bout was scrapped when Jones suffered a torn pectoral muscle in training. Tom Aspinall defeated Sergei Pavlovich for the interim heavyweight title in a bout that was added to the UFC 295 show following Jones's injury. UFC President Dana White said in November, the jones Mayosik bout is still in the works when Jones is ready to fight again. It would make sense for Aspinall to get a shot at Jones to unify the title. But UFC also has a history of opting to make the marquee fight that will sell tickets and pay-per-views at the expense of logical booking. If Pereira agrees to fight at heavyweight against Jones in the future, it wouldn't be a surprise if he got that spot ahead of Aspinall at some point.